Sa video nito, papaliwanag ko sa inyo ang router, Cisco router, or ano man klaseng router yan. Tingnan natin dito sa ating board. Meron akong layer 3 and 4 router. Kung isipin mo, sir, layer 3 lang yan ha. Totoo yun. Dinagdag ko yung layer 4 para maintindihan mo yung basic concept lang. Interacting with layer 3 and edge device. Ang ibig kong sabihin, layer 3 technically ang router. Pero, ang router natin can work on layer 4, TCP, as a firewall or gateway. Or if you're using a VPN, depending on your implementing and configuration. And also, it can work as a like, like a network address translation, as I've said, and uh, act as a gateway. And it's an edge device. Ang ibig sabihin nun, yung edge device Let's say, let put it this way. Meron kang internet service provider like Homantel, Oredo. Hindi ko sila sponsor. <laughs> but, if you are connecting to your internet service provider using your router, yun ang kinatawag na edge device. Papunta doon sa iyong local area network or to your enterprise network. And then, it has only a fewer ports uh, 2, 4 or a minimum of 2 ports 4 or 5 up to 8 ports as for example only and of course router connects different networks yun ang trabaho ng router of course yung switch natin uh, connecting multiple devices yung router naman natin connecting uh, multiple networks or different networks determining the best path anong ibig sabihin ng determining the best path meaning choosing the most efficient route this is uh, using a routing protocol routing protocol example nyan ay uh, distance vector and uh, link state protocols. Hindi natin pinag-uusapan yun dito. Binibigyan lang kita ng konting kalaman para dito sa ating topic for CCNA 200-301. Dahil, itong nasa board natin, this is a connected devices. These devices are directly connected to our router. So, hindi natin kailangan dito ang IP routing uh, concept or protocols. But, of course, if you are using a routing protocols, that is determining the best path using routing protocols. Store IP addresses in routing table. Ito ang routing table natin. Kung maalala mo, dun sa mga nakaraang videos natin, especially dun sa uh, MAC addresses na pinag-uusapan natin, Meron tayong media access control table or MAC address table or tinatawag na CAM, CAM table, content addressable memory. Eh meron din naman dito si router. Pero ang kanyang pinag ang kanyang kinukuha dito ay network. Hindi MAC addresses. Ito'y logical meaning the IP is um, we can create that IP address 192.168.1.0 192.168.0.0 For example, hindi yan permanent Unlike uh, MAC address, they are permanent addresses Okay? So, broadcast domain Tuloy-tuloy na to, medyo pinapawisan na tayo Mga, <laughs> mga <laughs> estudyante Okay? Yung, ano ba sinabi ko? Oh, broadcast domain. So, ito yung router natin. Ang router natin, konektado dito sa PCA. This is the network of PCA. At konektado naman siya rito, direct, directly connected sa PCB. This is the PCB subnet uh, network. Now, ano yung ibig sabihin ng broadcast domain? etong port na to, let's say this is a port 1. I'm gonna call this port 1 and this is port 2. Dito, from side na ito, 
Yan ang kanyang broadcast domain. Ano mang broadcast na mangyari dito, nadadrop na kagad pagdating dito sa line, sa borderline na to. Ganun din dito. Hindi yan ah uh, kumbaga in, in uh, ano niya uh, ini-intercept niya. Pinipigil niya yung broadcast. Dinadrop niya yung broadcast sa magkapilang network. So kung network A ka, network A ka lang. Kung network B ka, network B ka lang. Yan ang ibig kong sabihin. If there is any broadcast within this local area network or within this local area network, happens only here and happens only here. Unless, kung makipag-communicate siya, papunta rito, then the router will inspect that. No, kung kung uh, mag-go through siya or whether na, or not. So, yun yung trabaho ni router. And then, routes packet. Yan. Yan ang primary function ng ating router. To route IP packets. So, yan ang tatandaan mo pagdating sa exam. Okay? So, I think uh, medyo na na-revisa na natin ng konti ito. Yung mga ibig kong sabihin sa'yo. Uh, at sana maintindihan mo. So, dagdag kaalaman lang na ang router natin oh, works I mean operates in the uh, on the layer 3 in the OSI model but can works on layer 1 layer 2, layer 3, layer 4 layer 5, layer 6 layer 7 sa lahat ng ports ay sorry sa lahat ng ports sa lahat ng layers ang router natin pwede siyang mag-operate sa lahat ng layers. So, yan ang tatanda mo. Pero, hindi natin ginagawa yun. O, hindi natin iniintindi yun. O, do, kakayahan ng router yun. Kasi, ang trabaho lang natin as a network administrator or network engineer, if you will, is from layer 1, layer 2, layer 3, up to layer 4 only. Yung layer 5 and 6 and 7, wala na tayong pakailam doon. Ibang administrator ng may trabaho na Okay? So, on our ne in our network's uh, scenario I have a router here Router 1 And uh, meron ako rito subnet Na network ID Up to here And here The subnet ID here is 192 Or network ID is 192.168.0.0 and 192.168.1.0 Yung slash 24, subnet mask yan Yan yung 255.255.255.0 So kung hindi mo masyadong naintindihan at alam yan So balik ng konti at pag-aralan sa basic networking Okay? Now Ito yung PCA Sa part na ito, ito naman yung PCB Let's say, etong port na to port 1 uh, bigyan natin ng IP address ito Itong computer na to Let's say PCA no? 192.168.0.1 Ito naman 192.168.0 Oops Hindi po ito that zero, dot one, Okay dot one, Ang network ID niya And then our host Is 1 So ito yung network ID at ito yung host Okay? Yung dulo Now Ano ang gagawin natin? So hindi pa tayo tapos Lagyan din natin ng IP address ito For example Although hindi naman talaga necessary Let's say ito ay 192.168.0.10 Ito naman ay 192.168.1.10 Si PCA wants to communicate kay PCB. Ngayon, ang gagawin ni router, i-inspect niya whether or not kung magta-traverse siya o papunta siya doon sa PCB, yung information na yun to forward that particular information or to drop that IP packet. So, yun ang trabaho ni router. Ngayon, dahil we're not using IP routing here, there's no IP uh, or routing uh, protocols concept here because these are these devices are directly connected to our router so mangyayari niyan inspect niya okay ang configuration ng ating right uh, routing table ay 
192.168.0.0 Ito naman, yung kay port 2 dito Ang network niya ay 192.168.1.0 Pagpasok ng information dito Inspect And that information intended for 192.168.1.0 network Doon, pupunta na yung ano Ipo-forward niya na yung information Papunta doon sa specific na IP address or computer Okay? That's it So dyan na nagtatapos ang ating video para sa ating router Sunod na video na tayo